Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the final flip through of this DIY A6 disc planner. In April, I posted my flip through and I titled it like, do I hate this or am I regretting this or something like that. It was a clickbait title, um, but it was speaking to some sort of things that I had mentioned about feeling like um, maybe I wasn't as big a fan of the discs as I thought I would be. Um, and I was at that time not planning to move out of this. But then I decided to just do it anyway, um, to bite the bullet. So this is going to be a flip through of where this was as of mid or like the first week of May um, when I moved into rings. Um, and that transition into rings happened really quickly. I expected to be kind of using this while setting up the ring planner, but it actually didn't take that long to set it up. And you'll see the ring set up next week. Uh, I'm going to post that video. I'm in um, personal size rings. You have seen this planner before. It's a little sneak peek. Um, so the flip through and setup video of that will be next week. But today we're going through what this looked like when I moved out. So if you haven't been here for the whole thing, um, I made this myself. I just got the rings from a um, Happy Notes, like the, the mini size. I like the smaller rings because the big ones, I, it's too much. Um, I didn't want the huge size, the big rings with the huge size and all that. This is smaller. Um, so this is a six size, which is not a size that like Happy Planner makes. I don't know if any other people make like an actual disc planner that's A6, so I did it myself. Um, and I just used from some like digital scrapbook paper that I printed out and laminated um, as the cover, punched it all with the Happy Planner Punch, and it's been okay. The main issue with it is, yeah, see, exactly that. It just comes, it pops out too easily. And possibly it's because I use like a standard printer paper, a thicker printer paper usually, but not like as thick as the paper they sell in like a Happy Planner. Maybe that would kind of hold on to the rings a little bit better, but it was just constantly popping out, getting folded under, driving me nuts. And I decided to finally just, it was making me feel like I didn't want to be flipping back and forth and being productive. And I realized that was the problem. Um, and so I moved back to rings. Anyway, all that out of the way, um, level 10 life is the first thing in here. And I set this up back when I set up this whole planner in January. Um, and then glanced at it every so often. This is more useful to me as I do it and then set some goals, but I don't like come back and look at this very often, maybe at the goals, but not, you know. So it's useful to compare, but I didn't do a comparison one because I didn't really feel like I wanted to. <laughs> um, but that's, you know, all of these inserts, by the way, are available in my shop, uh, gadgetplans.com. This is my monthly resolutions. I never finished... Uh, color coding these but anyway these are supposed to relate to the colors for these categories uh, but these are just like a goal for each month and mostly it was a project um so I we had to unpack I had a birthday party um taxes that kind of thing then this here 52 weeks uh future log is I find really useful for like setting a goal for a specific week so you can see there's certain things that needed to happen by a certain time like that birthday party had to happen by then that just kind of helped me keep track of what was coming up and then I like assigned a main goal for the week a main project to work on then um this one here is the what insert is this 63 um it's called like monthly goals. It's not a very good title for it, but basically it's recurring tasks and last time done stuff, mostly stuff around the house. Um, and so I'll highlight the month if it's something that doesn't happen every single month, usually. Um, and I just, stuff I don't want to forget. And so the last time I did it, I will write that number down and then I'll put it back on my monthly. And then when I do it, I have to come back here and fill it in. So I'm kind of keeping track of it in two places, but mostly this is the master. Uh, so I know how often I have to like, um, you know, clean the washing machine or whatever. Um, my sweet daughter makes me little pictures constantly. And when they're small, I like to put them in here. Uh, these are the same kind of things, but for the car maintenance. So this one is insert 17 and it's just a different way of presenting all of this. You can, I'm not really using it exactly the way it was intended to be used, but you put the item that needs to be done every so often, you put how often you want to do it. So you can be like every six weeks or every three days or whatever it is. And then the last time you did it, the next time you did it. And then once you've done it and moved on to a new line, you would put like a, a check mark or an arrow here. Then um, this here, this is some notes uh, from a phone call I had, but this here is the... Um, 
from insert 40, the pregnancy bundle. If you, for some reason, didn't watch last week's video, which it should have been last week's video, check that out. Um, I just did a general life update, and yes, we're expecting again <laughs> um, early December. I filled this out before I knew the actual due date. Um, I thought it might be the 5th, but it actually is the 3rd, so I redid this in the new planner and moved everything down a week. Um, so we're a little bit farther ahead than we thought. But this just helps me know, like, if I'm planning ahead and I know, okay, look, the school year is going to start, say, August 20, 21st, then I'm going to be 25 weeks along. It's good to be able to plan forward and look and see, okay, I usually start feeling better around 12, 13 weeks. That's when my daughter gets out of school. Praise the Lord. By the time summer hits, I should be feeling a little bit better. Um, and hopefully I am, uh, if this is coming out in the future a little bit, so... Then here's some monthlies. Um, I have just this month on one page, insert 64, and I just went ahead and printed out the whole year's worth and used this as a future log instead of having a separate future log and then setting up a monthly. Um, I, I did set up a little bit of May. I didn't do a May plan with me, um, so I didn't make it too elaborate because I was already starting to move into rings at that point. And then, yeah, the rest is just has like the, the name of the month in pencil. So I would remember which was which as I did like plan stuff ahead because I had to know like when the next dentist appointment is for the kids. I was going to maybe try to use this habit tracker that comes with insert 20, but I never got around to setting it up uh, or using it. So it's just in here. Then these side tabs, I was kind of in many cases not using them the same. In this case, I was not using this side tab as a marker really. But this is where the future log stuff goes. So this is actually a freebie if you happen to be Catholic and want to know when Easter is in 2027. Um, it's March 28th. That's my dad's birthday. Um, so this is just like looking ahead and when holidays are. I might make one of these for secular holidays. Um, but anyway, that's that's what that is. And I just have this in here for reference. This is the school's calendar. I just have it folded up in here. I actually don't reference it that much because they send home a monthly calendar that lives on our fridge. And I look at that one because it has more stuff on it. Um, this is also from Insert 40, the pregnancy bundle. And it's an appointments thing. I pulled out the one that I actually used that had some appointment info. But I think that at least until like later on when I start having a bunch of appointments, I'm just going to keep the appointments on my monthly. That way I don't have to look in two different places. Um, this is birthdays and anniversaries. And this is the same in every single planner. I just move stuff along, you know, add add things um, as I remember people's birthdays. Um, and it uses the year that their birthday or anniversary happened instead of how old they're going to be so that you don't have to remake it every year. Far future log for things that happen beyond this calendar year. Always useful to have. And then, see, there's no divider here, but this is where, like, weeks start. I don't really need to put a divider here, I realize, because like it's a I don't need a bookmark to show me the front of the section if that's not where we are currently, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's flip through some weeks quickly. This was February. Is that right? I don't know. March, I think. Uh, yeah, I really like the way this one turned out. I did a plan with me for that. Um, oh, yeah, this is definitely March because this was St. Patrick's Day. Then it's go. I decided I like the muted colors better. No, oh, sorry. I want to see all the flaps. I was doing like to-do items on this side and then like projects on this side. Then this was Holy Week. And then oh, I could keep this. It's useful. Um then I decided to move on to a different weekly. So this also for my daughter, uh, moved on to this one. I hate it when I use yellow, but I keep doing it anyway. So here it is, a yellow spread that I don't care for. But then I wanted to use up some more of these planner Kate date dots. So I kept using the yellow, whatever. This is the baby's party. Um, he turned one. This is the last week I felt well. <laughs> Not because of pregnancy, because we all got the flu. So you see the week after, I decided, oh yeah, by the way, I'm using this Alistair Weekly to-do list instead of what I had been doing. Um, I, I like getting credit for the day I do things. Like here, look, Thursday was pretty productive. Friday was pretty productive. So I feel good about that. Anyway, 
Um, oh yeah, so we went to urgent care on Thursday. That was the day that both kids had conjunctivitis. It was the beginning of the end. And oh my gosh, I can't believe how crummy I felt. And it was only like three weeks ago as I'm filming this. It feels like forever ago. Like I just got the house tidied again after the birthday party. And it feels like it's been a wreck for months, but I think it's only been three weeks, maybe four. Anyway, so you see, I didn't decorate this week because then I got sick. Apartment reset didn't happen. We did manage to unwrap the gifts eventually. My husband, blessedly, did not get sick, and so he was able to keep us all together in the evenings, and we just sort of survived. Um, but my daughter, I think, finally got back to school like Thursday of this week. Uh, we were all feeling super sick, and then I, um, my ear started feeling clogged on like maybe this day, painful, and then clogged, and then it was kind of okay over the weekend, but then I woke up on Monday, to like a, a popped eardrum, I think. And it was just so disorienting that I could not get back to normal. Like I felt like disconnected from the world. I still felt crummy and everything was just, uh, I hated it. Anyway, I wasn't able to get that much done this week. Um, I finally got in to see a doctor on Thursday. They gave me antibiotics. Um, I think Sunday afternoon, my hearing started to come back, but it was like, 50% or less on the right side. So I started to feel a little bit more myself by the weekend, and that's when I set up the other planner. So I decided to not set up this week, and I just have some extra weeklies in here. Uh, here's some dailies. Let's see. I did a... I don't remember why I needed a, a daily for that day. I was trying to get a lot done, but I guess I didn't do much. Um, oh, this is sort of a plan. This is from, like, my new sort of attempted schedule where I, like, assign... A project or like a, an area to each evening. I talked more about that last week in my update video. Um, let's see, this was, oh, there it is, May 1st. I like to try to go back. I'm trying to be better about this, going back and putting like the actual day, because um, it just says one. I'm like, what does that mean if I'm going back and looking at it later or trying to archive it properly? So I have some extra blank dailies in here. And then these tabs definitely get used. The home tab is there's like some like brain dump type to do items. The cleaning log, this is still April's. I never set up May's in here, um, but I did set it up in the new planner and I'm kind of sort of using it. Um, but this just kind of helps me remember like the things I want to get done every day and then focusing on a specific room. Um, then this is sort of a when I'm focusing on that room, these are the tasks that need to get done before I move on to the next room. Here's February's and March's, and I have talked about these. Uh, you'll, I talked about it pretty in depth in March's plan with me. So if you go back to the March 2023 plan with me, that'll tell you more about my sort of cleaning routine that I developed for myself. Next tab is just meals. So this, those are my kids. They, I had an extra photo, so I put it in here. Um, this is one of my favorite inserts I've ever made. I think insert 27 is my meal planner. Um, I just the way I, I plan meals is I just make a list of the things we have ingredients for or that I want to get ingredients for. And then just when the day comes, I'll pick out the thing I need. And so I use these circles. Clearly, I didn't fill this out all the way. Um, and this one here, I'll come back to that. This one here is a prototype that I'm kind of working on, like a master meal list. Anyway, so you'll see um, I use the circles to indicate shelf stability. So if it has three circles, that means it'll keep in the freezer or the pantry or whatever. Um, but if it only has one circle, it's because there's like mushrooms in the fridge that are going to go bad. So I prioritize those ones. And I like to keep these in here for a while so that I can look back and remember what we had um, so that I can say like, oh, yeah, everyone really liked that. I should make that again. So these have been in here for the whole year, I think. I don't make a new list every single week or even every other week. Um, sometimes we just, I don't know, we have more leftovers or we go to a party and then we get leftovers from that or whatever. This says reference. It really should say projects or something. There's like some, a few little projects that I felt like I needed to sort of get out of my head. So those are written here. Then I have this folder that I made sort of, I was keeping things in here, but they've all been transferred to the other planner, the new one. Um, so that was just to have a, a place to put objects uh, and ephemera uh, somewhere. See, this was when I still had my grueling content schedule. 
this is where I kept track of how far ahead I was planned. And this is what that schedule looked like. And now it currently is like whatever I feel like, whenever I feel like. So that's why you're very lucky to get three videos in a row. I can tell you next week, right? We're going to get a video next week. You got one last week. Three videos in a row after like, what, three weeks dark. So um, this is secret. This is some notes from a workshop we went to. This is the clothes sizes insert that, it's insert six, it's in my shop. If you like it, I hope you like it. I haven't really found it to be super useful. I thought that I kind of wanted to have it there, but like I can kind of, I, I know what size my kids were. Maybe if I had more kids, then I would forget. But yeah, this is not accurate anymore because he is up like two sizes now. Mostly because we didn't have a lot of 9 to 12, and I put off sizing up to 9 to 12 until he was already 12 months old. He got a bunch of 12 to 18. They're a little baggy, but it's fine. He ended up skipping a size. That's No one's going to tell you this, but it's totally fine to skip a size. Um, library books. I don't have one that's filled out, but I use this sometimes to keep track of all the library books that kids have checked out. But the new library system where we moved to has like nine renewals for every book. So I haven't found that I really need to write everything down. We're going more often, getting more books, and I don't want to have to write out all of those titles. Um, and so I just use the online portal and I check there whenever I need to know what's coming due. We get emails. It's not a big deal, but this is great if you don't want to have to rely on emails or logging in somewhere. Uh, I printed out a gift ideas spread and never filled it out. So that's gift ideas for people, or would be. Um, this one, I kind of like this. I, I'm proud of this idea, this no, um, bookmark that just is like for the current project. So I can have a whole section of projects, but the one I'm currently working on is right here. Um, oh, this was some stuff to bring to the party. Yeah, these are notes from the birthday party. Um, this is the RS, no, this is to do's to do each week that I was coming up. Then things that needed to be packed and brought the day of. These were all of the notes about like what we were doing and what we were serving people and when we had to be there and blah, blah, blah. Delegation, who I was assigning different tasks to. Then the schedule, so I could kind of have a, an idea of what time to gather people around to play party games and cut cake and whatever. And then this is the RSVPs. I always try to keep track of how many people have RSVP'd versus how many people are still on the invite list who haven't RSVP'd no. So to give me a, a range of how many people are going to be there. Um, and then finally, it says notes. It's just blank paper. I've got some blank spreads in here for when I need blank paper. And then there's a back cover too. Who would have thought? There you go. It's the last view you're going to get to see of this. Um, you can always search back um, in the flip throughs uh, playlist on my channel to see I was in this from January 2023 through April, uh, the beginning of May 2023, and it served me well. Um, it was definitely what I needed at the time. What I needed was something that was going to lie flat, um, because what I was in previous to this was a traveler's notebook. Adorable. I love holding it, but using it, it's just like it's constantly trying to close on itself, and I just I wanted something that was going to lie flat, and the rings also lay flat. So that fulfilled that too. Um, but anyway, it served me well, but it was time to move on into something that was gonna kind of hold on to its pages better um, and just feel a little bit less janky. I was felt worried about carrying this around. Um, I had it inside like a clutch purse, but it still kind of got banged up. Um, and I was just kind of worried about it a lot. So I decided to just move on to something made of leather that was gonna feel a bit more durable and easy to uh, carry around, more portable. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that last chance to see my A6 DIY disc planner. Um, and yeah, like I said, stay tuned, stay subscribed, and next week you'll get to see the setup video for the personal rings. Um, and in the meantime, let me know what you think uh, in comments, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!